Hey guys, so I was editing my video just now and I realized that I forgot to film an intro. So I just wanted to jump on real quick and say hi and welcome you back to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to stick to your budget. If you're interested, please continue watching. And okay guys, so the first tip that I have for you is to get your partner on board. If you're single, that's awesome. One less thing to worry about. Go ahead and skip on to tip number two. But if you're not, then you need to get your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend on board. You need to make sure that you're on the same page and that you want to reach the same goals. One of the best ways to do this is to set incentives for yourselves. I know that a lot of couples struggle with spending too much money on eating out. Try not to eat out all week and then on your day off, Go ahead and enjoy yourselves. Make sure that it's still within your budget. Continue doing things that you love to do, like enjoying your partner's company, going to your favorite restaurant. And this is going to lead into tip number two, which is to set realistic goals. You might figure out that you are spending, you know, maybe seven, six hundred dollars a month on just miscellaneous things like eating out, drinks, online shopping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you are one of those, make sure that you set yourself a realistic goal of cutting it down, you know, by 10 or 20%, whatever you think you can handle, and then go ahead and keep adjusting. Keep setting that goal to spend less money each month until you hit a point where you feel comfortable. So for tip number three, you want to set up a system in place on how to follow your budget. Uh, Tony and I did the envelope system. If you've never heard of the envelope system, it's where you grab a stack of envelopes and you write down each one of your spending categories. For example, on one envelope, you'd write groceries. The next one, you'd write gas. The next one, um, eating out. You would write it on there. You would pull cash from the ATM and allocate your money throughout your envelopes. And once the money is gone from that envelope, you want to try your hardest not to borrow money from one of your other envelopes and, you know, just stick to it until you get paid again, until you can refill them. And this one actually works really great because you see the money leaving your envelope. You see when you're about to hit that zero. I definitely recommend using the envelope system. There are other systems out there like using, for example, mint.com. That's one of the websites that tracks your spending for you. But again, you have to be very diligent. For beginners, I feel like using the envelope system is the best way to go. It's, you know, it's something tangible. You can see the money leaving that envelope. You can see, you know, how much you have left in each one. Um, just by taking a quick look, you don't have to sign into anything. You don't have to go scroll through all of your spending. You can just see it right then and there. Um, a lot of people also go ahead and stick their receipts in the envelopes. Tip number five, a lot of utility companies have moved over to this type of billing because they feel like their customers are able to handle it a lot better. What it is, is they take your usage from the year prior, um, they get your total usage, they average it out over 12 months so that you have equal payments due every month. It's really helpful for people that live in climates that are very extreme. For example, in Texas, where I'm from, it gets very, very hot during the summer. Like I'm talking over 110 degrees, like it is blazing hot. So people use their AC a lot during the summer and that causes your electricity bill to be extremely high. Instead of having high months and low months, it's just easier to budget this way. It's so that you don't have any surprises. Talk to your utility companies and see if they offer something like this. And if they do, take advantage of it. This is going to lead straight into tip number six, which is to set up auto draft. Um, auto draft is great so that you can just have the companies, you know, pull the money from your account. You don't have to go in and click any buttons. You don't have to talk to them. You don't have to send in a check. Do people still write checks? If you do, just stop. Just stop right now. Go and do auto draft. The best way to do it is to have them draft your bill the day or the day after you get paid. That way that money is gone. You're not tempted to spend it. 
So tip number seven and my last tip for you is to set up auto transfer. We always do this. We've done it for years and oh, I have done it for years and years and years. Tony uh, started doing it once we got married because I gave him no other option. But if you are at a point where you can save money now, go ahead and take it out first. Take out your savings. I know some of you may have heard pay yourself first. This is what they're talking about when they say that. Go ahead and set up an auto draft or an auto transfer to your savings account so that your money isn't just sitting in your checking account. It's actually, you know, accumulating interest for you. And I'll make more videos on, you know, my favorite savings account, things like that. But for now, just go ahead and set up a savings account and do your auto transfer to that savings account. If you guys have any tips for me or for others, please share them down below. I'd love to see how you're doing with your budget if you created it from last week. I'm going to link that free downloadable budget on this video as well. So if you're interested, click on the description box. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down or leave a comment down below. Give me some constructive criticism. I want to know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. If you have any video requests, please leave it in the comments down below. Bye! Thank you.